Welcome everybody to Coffee and Pie. My name is Richard Dela Cruz and I am here with Tyler Freider. Hello. This is the show where I have Tyler play old retro games that he has not really played before. You don't have much experience in this stuff. No, not really. Um, mm -hmm. But we plan to have a little bit of time here discussing the game, just having a casual conversation every now and again. I'll throw out some, some tidbits or some nice information to kind of give you more backstory and depth to, uh, to the game that we're playing. Yeah. So today, I have you playing uh, one, of the, one of the classics, Mega Man X. Which I'm very excited for. Yeah, you said you played some Mega Mans before when I you were mean, a kid. again, it's one of those like things where probably I stumbled into it at a friend's house or something. Right. But I have no other than that, no like legitimate history. Right. Um So, so. this will be good cuz this is um this is generally considered a milestone in the Mega Man series. Okay. And this is uh despite the X, it is not <laughs> Roman numeral yeah, okay. X, it is not the 10th entry in the game, it's technically technically the 7th. Okay, I we're think. getting that explanation right now. So, <laughs> <Kinda>. yes. <laughs> X is the first of a new generation of robots. Okay, interesting. Okay, September 18th, and we don't know the year. 20XX. 20, 20, 20 with, Cap, with Capcom games, it's always 20XX. They never want to you know, put a hard date on things. Sometime uh, in the future. Yeah. Once you put a hard date on things for long-running franchises, then people will ask for timelines, and people <laughs> will ask for, sure. you know, for a bunch of things that, that doesn't really matter. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I love those. Okay. So what year did this come out? This came, out in, uh, this came out in December of 1993 in Japan, and January 94 in America, I believe. Okay, I've got Jump... Shoot, square is shoot, X is jump. Mm -hmm. uh, the cars are a little misleading. <laughs> they are scary at first. <laughs> okay, that that's a bad guy. Okay, that looks like something from Warhammer. How do you <laughs> how, how do I duck? So there's no duck. There's oh, no shit. duck. Okay. <laughs> so, I can't I can't tell go. you. You can jump high enough at this moment to to kind of dodge. There a double jump? Guys. Not really. No, you you we'll find out more okay, mechanics here as we go. we go along. Okay, these guys do they need to land? Oh, neat. They take out the ground. They okay. do, yeah. Oh, they're going to make jumping harder. Oh, that's kind of neat. All right. Changes the layout of the map. Yeah, the landscape. And ah, everything. shit. Okay. Oof. Forget. All right. They did, um, in the dev diary, not the dev diary, the, the official uh, Rock uh, Mega Man X collected <laughs> works. They call him Rock Man in Japan. Okay. So it was kind of a an idea that was spawned from the creator, Keiji Inafune, but his name in, in Japan is Rock. His sister's name is Roll. Really? Yes. Interesting. His, his dog's name is Rush. <laughs> um, okay. And then they, they introduce a bunch of other characters, like his, his cat's name is Tango. Uh, his his uh, arch rival's name is, is Bass. <laughs> his dog's name is Treble. It's a whole musical thing, which is very, it's very cute. It's very nice. Damn. Damn. But in the, the Mega Man X Collected Works, uh, it was an art book they released, they talked about how when they started developing the Mega Man games for the Super Famicom, Super NES, they were finding out so much about how the the processors worked and everything that they were able to do all of this cool oh, stuff. Oh, neat. Okay. So, so they, okay. were, they were very surprised at what they were able to do. And so they kept, what's this idea we have? Let's do it. And then they would yeah. do it and it would work. And then... That's how they ended up expanding all of this. Is that a bad guy? No, that's a car. Okay, here we go. I do like the city background. That is neat. Damn it. Just keep shooting, my man. So I need to not go backward. I need to not worry about... You, yeah, very rarely enemies ever come from behind. So you usually don't need to worry ah, about shit. that. Ah, shit. I don't know how to dodge that. There we go. Oh, no. Uh, it's supposed right. to happen. This, yes, yes. This is, your okay. first, this is your first test. Okay. Can I go back this way? I can't. All right. I was like, is there a surprise over there? Here, here's your dexterity test. That's not good. Because I'm not dexteritous. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, I need to get back up there. Okay. There you go. So, what do I jump back to? Oh, same wall. There you go. Neat. Okay, cool. Cool. So, this that, that kind of, that always reminds me of the first Super Mario Bros. Because Super Mario Brothers doesn't mm -hmm. tell you how to play. Yeah. They kind of throw things at you, and then you kind of have to go, well, what, what do I do here? And so, obviously, they didn't tell you how to do that if you didn't read the book or anything. So, sure. Okay. Um, 
so you kind of sit there and figure out what do I do and so since you started to kind of just like wander around and end up hitting walls accidentally you find that you can kind of slide against those and hang on to them you can jump and shoot kind yes, of but only like once like it's like right. like the the fire button like almost like cancels his shoot Almost. Yes, yeah, almost, yes. Here, Here's a, I will give you, because we're going to get into like nitty gritty right now, I'm going to give you a real quick cheat tip um, that you probably wouldn't figure out otherwise. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Uh, just hold the shoot button. Son of a bitch. Oh, they're gone. A lot of these smaller enemies that are coming at you right now, these guys uh -huh. will take, um, just if you charge up your ability just a little bit, they yeah. usually only take one hit from that. So this is a consequence oh, okay. of older games. If you go a little bit back, the enemies respawn. Oh, okay, they keep interesting. Coming at you, so the trigger. Well, I'm, I'm not sure what the what the technical terms would be, but mm -hmm. it, like it doesn't. It stays there. Eh, eh, In, eh. Infinitely spawning enemies. Damn. See that car is bad. Yeah, that car. Oh no. Damn! I tried to. Oh, it keeps going. Oh, that's. Oh, can I stay on top? Yes, of you it? can. Yes, you can. Damn. Okay. There you go. I'll try that next time. Uh, uh, it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's, yeah it's destroyed it's now. Destroyed. So. Nothing. Okay, cool. Damn, I'm trying to hold down the button. Oh, I destroyed it, though. Dang it. It is something you get used to. Uh, Mega Man fans, veteran Mega Man fans, always have their blaster, the, the Mega Buster, it's called. They always mm -hmm. have it charging. Always. Oh, you can do it while you're moving. Yes, you can. I am so I, sorry. You said that, and I was like, <laughs> does he... Okay. And... It, you okay, know, cool. uh, what is it? Physics Physics dictates that as he's moving toward you, you can safely jump over. There you go. Damn. Oof. Okay, so I gotta time the jumps a bit better. I know I can hold school. I'm using a PS4 controller. Oh man, uh, that was game or over. PS5, I didn't, I didn't realize so, that. okay. This is a good time to give a little tidbit, but we, we talked past the beginning opening sequence, but there yeah. is a very nice little opening sequence of, of a, a little jingle and then it says the words Capcom. That's the classic Capcom jingle. It's what we call that for the Super Nintendo. Okay. Uh, and other early Capcom games that they had. In Europe, Nintendo published Mega Man X, not Capcom. Oh, okay. So instead of instead of Capcom, it says Nintendo. But but the weird thing is is that the Capcom jingle is still there. Oh, weird. Okay. And Nintendo, the, the logo for Nintendo, it's not the logo for Nintendo. It's just the, the text from Mega Man, you know, when it was telling you the story, that yeah. like weird robotic <laughs> text. It's just that, and it like it just appears on the screen very quickly at the last second and then disappears. It's very awkward. What is So what am I looking at here? What? So these are Mega Man, Mega Man series had passwords. And so oh, these are the passwords that you need sure. in order to continue from where you left off. Okay, cool. At this point in time, it's kind of moot because you're on the first level. You haven't gained anything or, you know. <laughs> oh, music change. So, someone, someone's going to look familiar here. Familiar? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I just... No, you'll, you'll be fine. Bad. This is bad. You'll no. Be, you'll be fine. Uh, uh oh, story? Is it a? Yeah, it's it's it's. Oh, uh, okay. Oh no, it's Django Fett. Yeah. <laughs> or Boba Fett. Yeah. Or whatever Star Wars. The is. inspiration is quite obvious. Interesting. Cool. Okay. Oh, we get saved. This is, this is uh this is Zero. He is the he's the badass of the series. Sure. As soon as he appeared, everybody <laughs> flipped their shit. Uh, some people even thought it, I thought he was I thought it was, I thought he was a girl, you know, because of the long, long hair, hair, the long hair. And sure. I was like, whoa, yeah. cool, this is awesome. But um, this is where I have some more information. Uh, according to creator KG Inafune, he wanted another new playable character, Zero. Like he wanted somebody mm -hmm. besides Mega Man. Uh, but he wasn't sure if. The higher ups like really would be keen to that idea because you're kind of taking it away from like the iconic character yeah. and because Ma Mega Man is kind of a I, I guess I'll call him the mascot of Capcom during these days. Okay, he he didn't really become their mascot like Mario or, or other um, other mascots, but he's the closest thing. 
Uh, he came up with the design for Zero, and he asked another designer, uh, Hayato Kaji, to create the new Mega Man, the new Mega Man image. Uh, after showing off the images of Mega Man to their boss, mm. Keiji Inafune quickly was like, oh yeah, we have a new character here. And the boss was just like, oh, okay, great, this is great. Like, he liked his color, he liked everything, and so uh, we, now have, we now have Zero um, as a character. And, now, and Zero is not playable in this game. He does become playable later. Okay. Uh, but Zero is now just as popular as Mega Man. When but it was that a was that their first appearance? That was or? Zero's first appearance. Yes. Okay. okay. And there's funky things going on. Okay. So yeah, we we'll gotta we gotta move on real quick. Stage here, stage selection. Yeah, stage selection. So, in the Mega Man universe, they uncovered Mega Man. He was the first of his kind, and they're like, "Hey, we can make more just like him." Sure. With Mega Man's help, they created more robots. And then they went, they called Reploids, and then they go Maverick. Uh oh. So these are the Mavericks. They're, they're called Mavericks. Gotcha. Uh, and so they all have a certain aspect to them, and you can choose where to go. Uh, I will give you a hint, and I will tell you the first place you probably should go is um, Chill Penguin up there, that little nice. penguin. Nice, okay. There. They all have cool names. <laughs> yeah. and, we're, and, and although we're not playing Mega Man X5? Uh huh. Mega Man X Five. All of the, all of the, all of the Mavericks are named after uh, Guns N' Roses <laughs> members. <laughs> That's awesome. And, uh, For some reason, at this screen, I imagine like that scene from Blade Runner when Harrison Ford's getting the, getting the uh, <laughs> like the briefing. Yeah. But instead, he just cut face <laughs> Mega Man's face, cut to the TV, and it's like one of these guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a replicant model penguin. <laughs> he escaped from the ship. Okay, here we go. Uh, all right, cool. Alrighty. So these are the renegades I gotta take out. Yes. Okay. And in Mega Penguin. And in Mega Man fashion, they all have something to do with um, an operation in everyday life. So uh, I, I forgot exactly what Chill Penguin does, but I, I think he's basically a keeper of the Antarctic, like okay. wildlife. It's interesting that stuff. there are trees. Yes, they're like robotic trees. They they kind of um um. Huh. Not terraform, but they simulate what okay. trees are supposed to do. Yeah, I love that guy. Yeah, so he's, I gotta... he's laughing at you. Fuck. Okay, okay, I'm yeah, I'm just um. Yeah, new all kinds of bad right new now. New enemies are all gonna be kinds of... thrown at you. No, wait, wait. Oh man, this is rough. Okay, rabbits. It's not very nope. helpful, yeah, but him. but those logs that he's firing at, you can actually stand on those. Like if okay. they pass by you and you happen to land on one, it will take you. Bat. Robot bat. All right, here we go. I I definitely expected to slide here. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, it doesn't seem like I no. am. No. Yeah, you, you seem like I am. Damn. Okay. I love these guys. I forgot their names, but I love them because they provide much needed uh, health items and, sure. and extra lives. There's an RNG to them, what they drop to RNG to all the enemies, but they are the most likely to drop you extra lives and health. What is this? You'll see. It's a canister. Oh, it's like a hologram thing. Cool. And a new look. Shing. <laughs> cool. Oh, dash. Okay, here we go. Uh, that mechanic was created supposedly when, when Inafune went on a tirade because of, of just the pressure of making this game and everything was too great. And he ended up kicking a wall, <laughs> like taking his anger out. Um, and supposedly, according to him, after writing about the idea in the dev diary, he was like, oh, wait a minute, that that, that could be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so he came up with the, the wall jump. But yeah, Mega Man X was uh, dubbed, the Mega Man series was dubbed as um, one of the instant death series, along with Ghosts and Goblins, which I don't know if we'll ever get to. That game is very hard. Like, I, that game is hard for I me. I have heard of Ghosts and Goblins. Yeah, like I, I beat that game for the first time 
like a year ago, and that was only <laughs> that was only because I used rewind states. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, once once I beat it, because when you beat that game, it's not the end. It's like, haha, it was a joke. You have to go through the whole thing again. <laughs> and when I beat it the first time, I was like, yeah, okay, I beat it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this again. Dunza. You guys, yeah. yeah, some arbitrary rule. But um, yeah, he stated it was uh, working on this game was the most dreaded out of the three because or out of Ghost and Goblins, Disney games, and Mega Man games. Because <laughs> if you were assigned to a Mega Man game or Ghost and Goblins or a Disney game, your your life is gone. Like you were overtime constantly. Ugh, that's horrible. Uh, and and working on crunch consistently. Uh, he stated that he pretty much only had thirty dollars to his name at the time. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, but. He was happy because if you worked overtime, Capcom paid for your meals. <laughs> so okay, well. he was like, I need to live somehow. <laughs> oh. I guess that is a viable strategy. It's, it is. Will, will it give me health if I just wait here? Yeah. Okay. It'll, yeah, it'll either give you health or give you extra right. lives. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've already encountered it. So. Son of a bitch. Charge up your shots, damn it. I didn't know what to do there. I just hesitated. <laughs> I, just hesitated. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. I guess I'll just die. <laughs> there, nice. Full health again. Yeah. No, I, I don't know what I did wrong there. I don't... Uh, I, I think... I've been through it before, so I know what you did wrong. I can't vocalize it. But I know that your fingers did not translate to what you wanted to do, like what your brain was telling you to do. Uh, I know, I know exactly. I'm pretty, I'm pretty demoralized right no, now. No, don't, don't. <laughs> I Fuck this opening part! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Let's that go that, down. Me, that no. means something later, so don't worry about it as of now. Oh, cool. Mech on mech action. Okay. So I can punch, I can do my dash. That's pretty much it. Oh, that gave me health? Interesting. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so yeah, no! there you go. If you pressing up and jump will launch you out of it. Uh, and this is where you have to leave him. Damn, okay. Ooh, what's this way? So that way is a, oh yeah, there you go. Um, however, you oh can, shoot! Uh, am you, I, can I destroy this thing? You can't. Uh, not yeah. as you are now. Uh, that does contain. That does contain something. Uh, you cannot get to. Oh it. damn! Okay. Yeah. This also provides the replayability of the game. Um, collecting lots of different uh, capsules and hearts will mm -hmm. extend your life, extend your power. Sure. Um, but you gotta find. It's a much like Zelda. You gotta find something in one level to go to the other level and. This guy throws snowballs. Yeah, and they turn into giant boulders. And apparently they're the most dangerous enemy I've fought yet. Ah, uh, here you go. Yikes. Okay, and I've got no health. So this is the... This oh, you is... can see his breath. That's fun. That is fun. I actually don't even remember that. Well, you're at the boss now. So. Oh, great. Okay, cool. <laughs> I wanted the penguin. I'm about to get the penguin. <laughs> oh, he's got a lot of health. And one shot, and I'm done. <laughs> but you start at the boss. Okay, good. And, but I, have, and I have one, one health. One life. One, one, life, one life. life. Yeah, not one health. One life. Okay. Do you want me to take care of this so that no. we can go? Okay. This All is right. me. Okay. All right. I love that sound. That sounds so... Uh, uh, how, do I, how do I break out? Just takes time. Wall jumping is key in this one, I will say. Since he is not a very uh Come on. Oh I was hoping that ice would go away mm. and then I could shoot him. But he drove through the ice. Yeah, so. the bl the blast will the the blast won't stop him either, because when he does that slide, that's when he's invincible. Okay, let's go let's go penguin again. Let's go penguin again. What are these things? What? So those are just those are just placeholders. Those don't oh, okay. uh, don't account for anything. Uh, but while we're here, I might as well just run it down. Uh, that's chill penguin. On the left is launch octopus. Um, on the left, over on the left side is armored armadillo. Right below him is storm eagle. <laughs> uh, right there is spark mandrill. 
uh, and then to the right is Sting Chameleon. <laughs> nice. Uh, that guy is Boomer Kawanger. And uh, <laughs> actually, real quick, Boomer Kawanger is based off a stag beetle uh, or a ku okay. uh, kuwagata in Japanese. I, I only I only put this info down because everyone's like, what the hell is a kawanger? Like, like... <laughs> oh! Tyler's out for blood. He's ready. I'm hoping because I'm at the boss, but... Oh, I've got two lives. Yeah, no, no, yeah, this you is your start. first. Yeah, this is your okay, first. Okay, you yeah. start with extra lives, duh, because yeah. I've been dying plenty <laughs> and not getting sent back to the main menu. Okay. No, yeah, this is your first life. You're doing okay. wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to do the uh, the good old Dark Soul strategy where I just sort of watch the boss yeah. and dodge a lot. <laughs> just stay up there. Oh, so he usually can't hit you when you're in that corner. Can I stun him while he's... Okay, I know what he does here. So usually your your charge-up shot can get rid of those. I can't remember if he gets rid of both of them. Oh, ooh. Yep, just stay up there. You can attack him Oh, while he's up there. Um, Fuck. So it gives you a little warning before he does... Yeah, they have very recognizable reading patterns. Oh, nope. What are you doing? Okay, in the direction of the snow, that's that's neat. It's usually what he's facing, so... Okay. He's gonna do his little... <laughs> Come on, do your little belly slide. He's not gonna... He might, since you're up there, he... He's just gonna wait for me, huh? We'll see. I'm going to keep doing this, even though it's a little boring. <laughs> there he goes. Go-to strategy there, but yeah, I think you can do this. I think you absolutely can do this. Okay, okay. I've got it charged up this time. I'm not going to spam it from the get-go. Open with that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I thought I made you had the right idea. You're moving like a true Mega Man player now. <laughs> RNG Jesus is not on our side. Free hit, boom. Don't get greedy. I didn't hear you no did bell. <laughs> there we go. All right. Hell yeah. Tango down. My thumb yeah. is annihilated. <laughs> gotta, gotta build those calluses. I was using the, whatever this part of the thumb is called, yeah, exactly. the middle part. The, the I was using crease. that to yeah. jump yeah. and holding down the, okay, cool. So I got an ice weapon. Yeah. All right. The Golden State Warriors colors. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Chill penguin. Awesome. Deadzo. So All right. So he's do he's donezo. Um so now we have Mega Man is all about paper rock scissors. So okay. a an enemy's weapon that you get makes another enemy weak to him. Uh to to that weapon. So you would think it'd be ice. Or uh, sorry, you, you got an ice weapon, you would think it would be fire, but it's not fire. It's something else. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. And I can tell you who that is, or you can just choose whoever you want next. Uh, I want to know. Okay. Uh, you're going to be going to Spark Mandrill. Spark Mandrill? Yeah, he's on the bottom there. This Dieter? Yes. Okay. Some right. of the best stage music of all time. All right, I'm excited. <laughs> In my opinion. <laughs> I love these intro screens. These are very cool. They're very cool, yeah. Okay. My thumb, don't fail me now. Mm-hmm. You were correct. <laughs> the working title for uh, while, while they were developing it, the working title for Mega Man X was um, was Super Rock Man. Super Rock Man, yeah. nice. Because <laughs> it was a uh, you know the Super Nintendo 
every game had the super moniker to it. So sure. Super, it, well, Super Mario Bros. was already super, but like Super Castlevania 4, Super Baseball 2020, Super whatever. So, oh man, I forgot about this guy. Um, this is going to be a little rough. This is a mid boss, uh, one of the few mid bosses in the game. Damn. Uh, dashing out of it is preferred. Ah, uh, how about I dash right into it? You can shoot him from there. Oh, well, I usually take that time to... I won't tell you how to play. Oh. No, uh, this, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. He only has generally those two attacks. The, uh, the water droplets and then that electricity thing, so... Damn. Yeah, sometimes, depending on where you're, ah. where you're staring, you'll, you'll shoot through the wall. It's quite annoying. I will say this, um, and obviously the historical context is, again, something that, because off the top of my head, I'm not going to know, uh, like, what games were released around the same time frame or whatever. Yeah. But the... That dash move... Mm -hmm. And like the wall stickiness, like that penguin boss fight was legitimately a lot of fun. Yeah. Because it was like waiting, it was holding the the, the charge, waiting for the moment where, where like the penguin slides, and then sort of timing the drop with when the penguin exits that animation to let yeah. go of the power, and then like slight. So I think those combinations, it almost reminds me of like a, I don't know, it's like a. It's like a primordial version of like Titanfall movement almost, like oh, sliding yeah, and grabbing okay. things, yeah. kind of. Sure. Obviously, that's you know that's thirty years later or whatever. Yeah, but, but that, that's still. It's that's... almost like a two D side scroll similar feeling. Yeah, that's because... an interesting comparison that I really like. I really yeah. enjoyed that because you're thinking about like a. Uh, you're thinking about like the like as soon as I entered that boss fight, I thought okay the walls are going to have to be a part of this boss fight because right. that boss is so dangerous on the floor. So that's like another dimension. So that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah there's, a there's a lot of interesting things that, of course, we didn't get into, but um, you'll find that defeating certain enemies in certain ways affects levels. Um, I believe that if you go to... Since you beat Chill Penguin, I believe if you go to Flame Mammoth, he's in like a lava factory. The lava's frozen over. So oh, if really? you if you if oh, you well, let's look, check it out. If you went to Flame Mammoth before you beat the penguin, it would be magma and everything. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. That um, would actually be really freaking cool. That guy's awesome. Yeah, he's cool. That's my favorite video game character of all time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, oh, the ice is that. all on the floor and everything. Yeah. Neat. Because you've disrupted the like, like what the, goes on. Their, what their different z zones of control. Yeah. Okay, well, I got to the boss fight. There you go. So we'll give we'll give Elephant a try. What was his name? Flame Mammoth. Flame Mammoth. Yeah. And I forgot what his weakness is, but if you use the the boomerang on him, it'll cut his trunk off. So he can't oh, no. shoot flame at you. <laughs> yeah. Is he susceptible to ice at all? He I don't believe so. No, he's not. Yeah, and when he Nope. How about yeah, when, when he when okay. he uh he changes the trajectory of the conveyor belt. Alright. Okay, I've got a few lives here. Go in, get some damage right off the right off the bat. So the cuts. So when the cutscene ends, it'll. He is yeah. He is somewhat easy to dodge, but of course, if you're on the floor when he stomps, then you're gonna get. Now you're trapped here, by the way. With yeah. When he does that, I think that's an oil slick, is what that is. Damn. You get stuck in that, I believe. He will jump the entire ah. length of it. <laughs> oh. Oh, kick me right in the face. Mm -hmm. You liked it, right? No, yeah, that's really good. I'm that's glad you liked breaking it. Breaking yeah. news, Mega Man X. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a good game. Yes. It's really good. And this, yeah, this is the reason why it's had so many iterations. Uh, sure. and, and people love it every time, despite the fact that it is, by and large, the same thing over and over. So I do, yeah, and I, I imagine, again, this is something that, like, 
I imagine was in other games. It's not like Mega Man X created it or whatever, but it is interesting because I am... Uh, it wants you to use two buttons at once, mm -hmm. kind of. So you are... I'm holding the, the fire button, and I'm jumping, and then I'm... So it's like, it's a different way of... Where instead of doing like a... Or even like when I'm trying to hit an enemy in the air, it's like you hold the fire button, jump, fire, and then you're back on the ground, as opposed to sort of doing one action at a time. Right. Um, and nowadays that's all over the place where you're doing like six actions at once or something in a game. You know, if you're playing as Mercy and you're healing somebody and flying oh, yeah, around yeah. or Lucio yeah. or whatever. Um, but And you have a lot A lot of that stuff is uh, we, we thank Mario for that. Because mm -hmm. in Mario you had to hold run. Right, right. And then you had to jump, but at the same time holding run. So, you, so that, I think that's a, you know. I don't know if it's true or not, but it feels like a carryover from those days. It's like, oh, we can still do this, but we just have multiple buttons. So that's why you can hold the shoot button while yeah. we're jumping and whatnot. But sure. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. I thought you did an incredible job, uh, and and I can't wait to see what game we play next that, that hopefully you'll like. Okay. Awesome.